so okay, man, it's really cold out here. <laughs> so you're watching this because you want to be a network engineer, right? Or maybe you came from another channel, just kind of wondering what a network engineer is. I've got other videos for that, but in this video we're gonna talk about the other paths in IT. So we have network engineers, which were the best, right? Nah, I'm just playing. But there's there's other paths. I mean, oh God. Uh, mainly you, you have the system engineers as well. Now, <laughs> a lot of jobs actually kind of use the term network engineer and systems engineer interchangeably. Um, but for our discussion, uh, a systems engineer is gonna be a guy who does not work with networking who will actually work with servers and not necessarily routers or switches or any of that amazingly fun stuff, right? There are a ton of different paths in IT. I mean, you've got programmers, you've got DevOps, penetration testers, security guys. I mean, there's just, there's so many paths, but the main ones that kind of I've, I've worked in the guys I've worked closely with are gonna be network engineers and system systems engineers. Those are kind of considered our uh, IT operations staff. So the guys who kind of manage the, the infrastructure. Uh, oftentimes they're called the infrastructure team and you have your network team under that and you have the, the systems team under that. So that begs the question, uh, when you're starting your IT career or maybe you're, you're in the middle of it and you're kind of at a, a, a fork in the road, should you become a network engineer or should you become a systems engineer? Now, if you've watched anything on my channel, you would already know what a network engineer is. Uh, I'll go over briefly. Basically, we, we make the internet work, so you're welcome. We deal with routers, we deal with switches, we deal with ethernet cords and getting those packets across the network. Uh, when things are going slow, you blame us. But also when I say network engineer, it's kind of an all-encompassing thing. Now, I apologize, it just started raining out here, so you might hear a bit of that. Uh, when I say network engineer, I'm talking about collaboration guys who deal with Cisco stuff and maybe maybe Avaya stuff. You got your data center guys, your security guys, firewall guys. That's really what I'm talking about when I talk about a network engineer. Just guys who, or girls, who will, who will deal with networking concepts and, and go into the other areas. So what are systems guys? Now when I say systems guys, that, that can also be a ton of different roles as well. Because you can have guys that deal with Microsoft Exchange. Doing with uh, dealing with email, you could have strictly server guys who deal with you know file shares and all the different server roles and things like that. You could even have like Citrix admins. Like Citrix is a way to virtualize and deploy uh, VDI or virtual desktops to employees. A lot of companies deal with that. You guys who only work on Citrix, you have VMware guys. So really, when I say so, it's, it's kind of a hard question to answer. Should you, should you go networking or should you go systems? Because if you pick networking, well then that forks off into 15 other paths. And if you pick uh, systems, that also forks off into 15 different paths. And, and what's funny is, even if you pick one path, you're often going to end up uh, kind of crossing paths later down the road in your studies. And, and especially depending on what kind of job or what kind of company you're gonna work for. Because when I first started out, it was a smaller, smallish company. And while I was the network guy, I was on the network team, I, I had to do server stuff. I was doing Microsoft Exchange stuff. I was working with Microsoft Terminal Services. I was working with VMware. I mean, we were we wore multiple hats. When the systems guys were out, I was the systems guy. So yeah, you may end up doing both, but at some point you do have to pick a path to learn. Like whether you're, you're just coming into it, you're trying to get off the help desk, you wanna pick a path and kinda of go down there and become specialized. So which one, networking or systems? I had this same dilemma when I was on the help desk. I was like, okay, I've got to pick something and just go full force with it. They both have their merits. And really, when you're trying to decide which one, uh, I wouldn't like, I would, I would play with both. When you're talking about networking and, and systems engineers, in a lot of ways, we're the same. You, you kind of have to have the same kind of uh, brain and, and skill set to jump into either of those. Like I said, I, I can do both, and you'll probably become that kind of engineer as well. And it, and it largely depends on what company you're going to work at. So networking your systems, it's really up to you what you like the most, because like I said, they're both fun. Some guys just tend to lean more towards systems or lean more towards networking, just depending on what their, what their tastes are, what they like. So my advice is try out both. I mean. You can lab up anything. I, right now, I've got a, I've got Cisco routers, Cisco switches. I got Cisco Voice Lab, but I also installed all of that on VMware. I had to get VMware set up, and I've got a domain controller and Active Directory and all that stuff. So I mean, it's you can try out both within your own lab pretty easily, 
and see which one you like. As far as getting your certifications, uh, you could get your CCNA, see how you like that, and uh, if you maybe not like that, or you may want to try Microsoft, then go for your MCSA, or maybe go for your, your VCA, your VMware Certified Associate uh, certification. Uh, the point is, you don't have to like make a firm decision right now. Um, try things out, see what you like. It's all fun. It all has a lot of opportunity. And often, if you get into a company that's smaller, you're going to have to know all of it. You'll be that the jack of all trades. The company I work at now is, is an, a big enterprise. I don't get to play with system stuff like I used to. I'm strictly networking, strictly Cisco voice. But at my other company, I'd have to switch off. You know, I, I'd be working on a networking problem for you know, a couple hours and then, oh, uh, something with the servers is going on, so I have to switch gears. And that was, that was fun in a way. So th that kind of role really is rewarding because you, you, you rarely get bored and it's, your skill set's dynamic. But the downside is that uh, you're kind of spread thin and you can't really become very specialized in one specific area. And I've said this before, the big money comes when you specialize, when you become really good at one thing or one specific area. That's normally where you get the, the big paychecks. So that's, that's about it, guys. Uh, let me know in the comments below, what do you prefer? Do you like systems? Uh, what's your experience you know, playing with VMware, playing with Microsoft servers, playing with Exchange, if you've ever done Exchange, or Office 365, you know, or maybe even AWS, Amazon Web Services, which that's, that's gonna be a hot one. Uh, so if you're thinking about doing that, that's a really, really good option. Or do you prefer networking? Let me know in the comments below. Now, as I said before, this is part of the uh, Network Chuck 10 Days of Christmas, so I'm giving away five of David Bomble's Packet Tracer CC CCNA Lab course. So if you want to enter, there's a link below. Click that link, it'll take you to the page to enter. I'll be picking five winners today. Anyways, thanks guys. It's cold out here, so I need to get inside, and uh, I'll see you tomorrow.